Hey, Epic Sun players, Sodi here, back again with a new GVG video. So, today I'll be trying out SSB in different team compositions. So, here are her stats. So, I'm pretty happy with her stats. However, I do need to get her an immunity set. So, yeah, I basically went for a mix of um, damage and survivability with a good amount of effectiveness. So her kit includes multiple different debuffs, so you do want to get some effectiveness on her. So I went with Rengar's special drink for her artifact, simply because it significantly increases her damage output. If you don't have Rengar's special drink, you can go for Rosa Hargana instead. So I'll be pairing her with Ambitious Tywin today. Um, I could go for the traditional Shells SSB Fallen Cecilia team composition. However, I want to try something new today. So I'll be pairing her with Ambitious Tywin. I do think they pair well together because Ambitious Tywin brings a lot to the table, which SSB does not, such as uh, AoE stun on his third skill. I also gave Ambitious Tywin Adamant Shield, so this artifact does stack with SSB's passive, so you'll be reducing a lot of damage um, for your team. I also bring Dian into the team because she provides a much needed attack buff for your SSB. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the Guild Wars. Alright, let's have a look at the different defenses we can go for today. Castell, hmm. So there's a Sinful Angelica in the second defense. Haven't fought many of those in GVG. Arbiter Asher. So that's a K Ron in the second battle. So SSB is actually really good versus K Ron. However, Charles is really good versus the SSB. So I'm not sure if I want to go for this tower. Um, let's have a look at the remaining towers. I like your style. Hmm. Like, I can't bring SSB and Dian into the first battle, um, despite it having a K run, because the Alencia is just gonna strip all the buffs from my team. So, hmm, who should I go for? It's an evasion comp in the second battle there. Uh, Alright, speed team, okay. I think I'll go for Arbiter Asher first. Alright, so for the second battle, I'll bring my SSB. I'll put her at the back, so I want to put Ambitious Tywin up front, so he's gonna be taking the damage from SSB due to her passive. And then I want to bring DN. So I know Shells is actually really good versus the DN and SSB. However, um, Dian's buff is going to be really valuable in mitigating damage coming from the k -Ron and Mercer, also Shells, so I'll still bring her there. For the first battle, I think Tempest Siren is extremely good there because she's going to cleanse herself from the stun coming from Spectre Tenebria and also all the debuffs coming in from the um, Dizzy due to her passive. And I could bring Remnant Violet, I think. So I did change up his build a little. He's kind of tanky now, um, but he does do less damage. Hmm, who else should I bring for the first battle? Uh... I want to bring something with AoE damage, well, I could bring Crow, I think, but do I want to bring Crow? I want to bring something that can take out the Alencia. 
I mean, not the Alencia, the Spectre to Nibiru. I can't really bring Kron because he's really bad versus the Desi. Shamsi's pretty good, but I don't think I want to do that, do I? Now the Lilius is just gonna cleanse all the. But the Lilius will, uh, will go before my champion Serato gets to go. So I'll go for my Shamsi there. Um, looks pretty good, I think. Does it? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, let's go. Alright, very fast Dizzy. So it's a speedy Dizzy, it's not a counter Dizzy, yeah? Counter, good. But here it comes to cleanse. Alright, so she's gonna go for the the Surin, but because of Surin's passive, she's gonna only take 50% damage, alright? Here comes the third skill. Good damage. Good lifesteal. Um, I'm blinded though, huh? Okay. Do I still go for the Dissy here? Yeah. We missed, dang it. Yeah, if we hit there, we will take her out. I'll go for my third here. So I got Abyssal Crown on my Shamsi. He may stun. He did. Perfect. Should I just take out the Dizzy here? Um, yeah. Lucky Dual Attack. Missed again. Uh, okay, we're life stealing. Good. Wow, look at that lucky door attack. Holy crap, we survived with 79 HP. <laughs> Alright, this will do a lot of damage because we soul burn. Okay, next battle. Uh, I'm not sure how this will go though. Let's go for the AoE stun. Perfect. Look at that triple stun. <laughs> yeah, um, Emo Tywin's debuff and uh, SSP's debuff from the third skills um, does not stack, so. I mean, by does not stack, I mean they have different debuffs. So, um, yeah, they apply so many debuffs if you go for their skills. Do I go for my third? Nah. I'll just attack here. Do I attack the Kron? Yeah. Try and provoke. Alright, so he's not gonna go for his third. Right, that's no damage there. Yeah, attack buff does increase the damage from SSB's counter attack by quite a bit, so you do want to draft attack buff with your SSB. Okay, next battle. Hmm. Let's have a look at Silver Monarch. Another Charles plus. K-Ron team composition, okay. Look at that, in the second battle, um, there's a K-Ron there. However, um, they put in a SSB counter uh, in the Roanna. So she's really good versus the SSB. So she's basically put there to um, try and uh, counteract Teams bringing in SSB into the defense. Hmm. Okay, a Collie plus um Dark Corvus. 
I think I could go for that. Do I want to go for that? Um, yeah, I do. Um, I think I do. I think I don't need to change my second team. Do I? Uh, no, nah, I don't. I don't think the Dark Corvus can take out my MO Tywin. And MO Tywin's passive is gonna proc when the A Collie goes for him. So I think we're good. Alright, for the first battle. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'll bring my MO Ken. Do I do? Uh... I think Kraus much needed. Um, I don't need to bring my Tempest Syrian. I think. I think I'll bring my Emo Ken instead. Um, that looks pretty good. I think. Yeah, let's go. Oh, she actually hit my my violet. Okay, so I'll push back the. Who do I push back? I'll just go for the arbitrary. Um, take out the Lilius. Well, counter set Ravi, okay. We're gonna life steal a lot here. Yeah, look at that. Life steal to full. Alright, luckily he did not proc the greater attack buff from the um the artifact. What's it called? Alexis Basket, right. We can take him out with the third skill here. The yeah, MO Violet's really good versus this Arbiter because of his high evasion. And so right here, MO Tywin's passive is gonna proc. Oh, he resisted, okay. That works, I guess. Here we got pretty good um, effectiveness on the MO Tywin. Supply attack buff. Potion Vial on the Ruel, interesting, okay. Um, do I even want to go for my second? Nah, I'll just do some more damage with my first. Try and provoke the Ruel, good, so she can't get off a third. Here comes the counter attack. It does a lot of damage if you have attack buff. Like the difference in damage is so huge um, with and without attack buff on SSB's counter attack. Now he can't get off a third because we, count, uh, we provoked him. Take him out right here. Alright, next battle. I mean, next match. Third and final match. Hmm. Let's go for the stronghold. Alright, um. Yeah, I'm bringing SSB into the first battle with MO Tywin. So, MO Tywin's gonna be really good in uh, versus the Bazaar because we're just gonna cleanse the. Um, unable to be buffed, debuff. However, I hope he does not proc Abyssal Crowns. Do I want to bring Dien though? Um, hmm. Nah, I'll bring something else for the first battle. I'll bring, I'll bring Tempest Siren. So the Ace is gonna go for the either the Tywin or Tempest Siren. 
Ah, okay, so it's actually pretty complicated because if the Acid is faster than the Bazaar, he's gonna go first and he's gonna go for my either the Surin or the Tywin. If he goes for the Tywin, um, we're kinda screwed because that will activate Tywin's passive, which means he's gonna he's not gonna cleanse the um the debuff coming from the Bazaar afterwards. But I'll just risk it. Uh, I'll risk it. Um, for the second battle. Hmm. Um, for the second battle, do I change anything? It's a high evasion team, so. Um, now nah, I don't need to change anything, I think. Do I? Uh, nah, I like the um, Crow plus Mo Ken, and I do want to use um, Mo Violet, so I'm not going to change the second team, I think. Um, composition that is. Do I bring Kron? Nah, it's not gonna perform well because there's too much evasion um, stacking going on, so I don't think Kron's the pick. Yeah, looks good. Let's go. Wow, the ace hit went for the tie win. Alright, so <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> we resisted! Look at that! We resisted again! So our passive did not proc. So we're gonna cleanse the... Oh, we cleansed it! Wow, we, we actually resisted the silence from the Aesir. That was extremely lucky. Okay. Alright, defense break, come on. Look at that. Now we can cleave, kinda. Alright, so Tur uh, Surin's really good versus the Kron because she applies the unable to be buff debuff. Um... Alright, we propped on L, so we can go for the Bazaar. Hopefully we stun the K-Ron, perfect. Alright, um... <laughs> Alright. Final battle. Alright, Moken's gonna counter here. We missed. Yeah, lots of evasion going on. Um, do I go for the... I think I... Ah, uh, do I go for the... The Avild? Or... Hmm... I could, but then I don't have the bu uh, defense buff up yet. Now, I'll just go for the Avild. We hit, perfect. We took him out. Um... Wow, okay, we don't have defense buff. Hopefully we dodge here on, the, on our... Wow, he actually hit... He actually hit my Violet through the evasion. I don't think I defense buff. I think I just go for my third here. Yeah, hopefully we hit the A card. If it's a tanky A card, he's gonna survive. It is a tanky one, but it's not tanky enough. Okay. That was quick. I feel like today's matches went by really quick, like quicker than usual. Yeah, SSB is still a uh, top tier unit. If you don't have her, I highly suggest. I say it's a must have unit. Um, you do want SSB, so definitely go for her if you don't have her. She's extremely good in every mode. OP tier. Alright, this should take her out. Alright, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, um, final verdict. SSB, despite having multiple counters being released in succession, 
such as Roanna, she's still um very good, very powerful unit. So yeah, um my SSD's maxed out in terms of uh, skill ups, and her artifact is also maxed out. Um, I've been feeding it, uh, what's it called, the thingy, let me have a look, um, Bottle of Knowledge, yeah, I've been feeding it Bottle of Knowledge for about a year now, I think, just under a year, so that's how I maxed it out. Yeah, I only managed to pull one copy when she was released um, about a year ago. So yeah, um, definitely a very good unit and she does pair well with so many units. Um, she's really good with Ambitious Tywin too. Um, he does protect her pretty well and his um, stuns and slows the stack well with um, SSB's kit. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's GVG showcase. If you did, please give my video a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to join my Epic 7 Discord. The link is down below in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Sodi signing out.